I'm Miss R. I teach the K-12 biology class and today we're going to talk about photosynthesis. This is the plant that you need to order from Carolina Biological Supply. If you go to the photosynthesis lesson, the photosynthesis lab lesson, there'll be a sheet you can download and read all about how to order your Elodea plant. Um, Elodea gives us a unique opportunity to observe photosynthesis in action. By using an aquatic plant, we can see the small bubbles of oxygen formed and those bubbles, can we can see them rise through the water. If we have a, a regular plant, we can't see the oxygen just because it just becomes part of the air. Hopefully, you can see small bubbles forming on the leaves of the Elodea plant. You know your plant is photosynthesizing if you give the jar a little shake and you see lots of bubbles going up to the top. To age tap water, you can simply pour water into a baking pan. This gives a large surface area for the volume of water. You can also just use a bowl. This glass measuring cup is a great option. Or, if you have a plastic container from salad, that works great too. Or a plastic bakery container. This is a large plastic box I got salad in. It's a great way to age tap water and it's clear so you can also put your Elodea in it when you put it on the windowsill. When you first get your plant in the mail, simply put it in a baking pan of aged water or some other tray you have and just rinse it off a little bit. There'll be dirt on it and that dirt prevents light from getting to the leaves. We want lots of light to be able to get to the leaves so they can photosynthesize. When you're done rinsing off your Elodea, simply place it in a, a jar or a clear bowl. So to set up for the rate of photosynthesis lab, I'm going to need some dechlorinated water that I've let sit out overnight. I'm going to take a pipette and fill my test tube half full. take a quarter tea or an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm using a quarter teaspoon and I'm going to fill it half full. I don't have an eighth of a teaspoon. So I'm putting my eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda into my test tube. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'll add a little bit more water. Now I'm going to cut my Elodea. I want to make sure I cut the Elodea so that it's shorter than the test tube. And I want to make sure that I angle the cut. I don't want to cut 90 degrees, I want to cut it about 45 degrees. So I'm going to cut off part of the stalk using my scalpel. Then I want to remove some of the leaves here so it's easier to see where I crush the stem. So just pull off the leaves with your fingers. And then you need to smash the end of the stem with your fingers. So for about one centimeter, just smash the stem. Then you can put it in your test tube, upside down here with the stem on top and continue filling it with water. Now that I have my prepared Elodea in the tube, I've put it under a light because I'm working in at night. I'm gonna let it start to photosynthesize a little bit and then I'm gonna start to time. I'll time for one minute and I'm looking... There are a couple important things you wanna remember with this lab. From the time you get the plant in the mail all the way through the lab, you want to use aged tap water. That's tap water you've let sit out overnight. The other thing is the bubbles. Um, if you don't get big bubbles forming on and around your stem, that's okay. Just count the tiny bubbles. They might come very fast if you have a lot of light, a very bright light. They might come very slow if you don't have a very bright light. And that's okay. 
just keep counting. Um, you may want to, before you start your experiment, take your test tube and just rattle it a little bit to get all the bubbles that have formed before you started your experiment off the t sides of the test tube and off the plant so you get an accurate count. Okay. After timing for one minute and counting the bubbles, I'm going to put them in the one column here for trial one. Trial one, we're not going to have a strong light on. Trial two is when we'll either put the tube in a sunny window or use a very strong light on the test tube. Now I'm timing for one minute and writing the number of bubbles in this box. Then I'll time for another minute and put the bubbles in this, put the number of bubbles in this box. I'll keep going for 10 minutes. I can do it for 10 continuous minutes. I just need to write down the bubble, the number of bubbles every minute that I time.